Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics. Today is May 18th, and as you can hear in the background right there, that is Chris Cornell. I don't know if you can hear that. I'm playing Chris Cornell today because uh, today I woke up to some bad news. Uh, the great, great Chris Cornell passed away. Uh, just want to bring that up, man. One of my, uh, one of my idols, basically. I uh, love his music. But let's get to automotive today. So today we're going to be talking about injectors. So on this vehicle right here, we got a 2000 and I believe two uh, Nissan Altima. And the issue that we've been having with this Nissan Altima has been having the misfire in cylinder number two. Customer changed out the spark plugs, changed out the ignition coils left and right. We're moving them around, changed out the spark plugs again. So uh, after that, I went ahead and did a compression test, found out that we had 160 pounds on the cylinder, number two. And I swapped again the, the ignition coils just to verify that it, it, it moved to the cylinder. Same thing. After that, I did my uh, n uh, noise test. So what I did, I got a long screwdriver and I put one tip of the screwdriver to the injector and the other tip to my ear. And with that, I can actually amplify the noise coming to the injectors. And I found out the number two wasn't working. So right now what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you how to ohm out the, the injectors and the readings that we're getting. So as you can see right now, I have the, the scan tool or my multimeter hooked up to uh, number three injector and we're having a reading so I got my alligator clips right here as you can see and these are the two test leads that are going to my to my multimeter or my scan tool and right now I'm back probed on injector number three so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you so because this is a four cylinder and this is the front of the engine we got cylinder one two three four so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the injector that's bad so we're gonna take off these alligator clips and we're gonna put it on number two and make sure that you do not touch the alligator clips together because then you'll get a false reading so right now we are locked in right there as you can see is infinite so there's no reading at all and i'm just going to show you i've tested this before so i'm going to go to cylinder number one okay that's number one injector sorry as you can see we got a reading there sorry for the glare that's from the, the actual phone and just for chips and giggles we're gonna go to number four and test that one out as well sorry it's in the way Alright, so we're connected there. And as you can see, we're getting the reading. All of them are around like 13 to 14 ohms. And as soon as we go into injector number three, we don't get a reading. One last time for you naysayers. You can see I am connected to that one. And I am connected to this one. That's number two. And it's open. So there you go. That's your way to test out your injectors. And like I said, the other way is just getting a long screwdriver, putting one end to the injector, another end to your ear, and you can actually hear the, hear the audible. So there you go. Here from Oz Mechanics. If, if you do like this video, please thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Hit that little notification on the side so you can get all the recent videos. And Mr. Chris Cornell
My man, you rest in peace, all right, man? We salute you.